Welcome folks, I'm Jabby Kawei and HBO Max dropped a new video just now called The Last of Us, Succession, The Idol, The White Lotus, and more coming to HBO Max. Now, it might be obvious, but the thing that's intriguing me the most about this is The Last of Us. Now, I don't imagine there's a lot of footage on it in this video because it's only two minutes and 20 seconds, but I thought, let's try to glean what we can out of this and try to dissect it a little bit. I've played The Last of Us twice, uh, once for PlayStation 3, once for PlayStation 4, and I played The Last of Us 2. I don't plan on buying the remastering anytime soon until it goes down in price, but I probably will pick it up once it drops. So, once it drops in price, I mean. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Here we go. What is this brief mortal life? If not the pursuit of legacy. Welcome to the White Lotus in Sicily. It's very intoxicating. I feel like I'm in a dream. You trust me. Hit it! Okay. President needs men of action. You're a go. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated. I'm like, you led with The Last of Us and you, you're just gonna make me watch all of this before you finally get to the thing I wanna see. They know what they're doing. It's it's very smart. Bend the rules, blackmail. Don't get caught. Money isn't everything. We deserve what you've got coming. Oh, I love college. We buy y'all! I have done all the things a wife is supposed to do. House. Kids, the meal. I guess it's at the very, very end of this. I'm very attracted to you. Would you be interested in having an affair? Wow. Oh, shit. That's another show I gotta watch. Oh, here we go. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. You have no idea what loss is. <sighs> shit! Hold on, can we look at that again? You know, I wasn't... I, I wasn't on board with him until just now. When I heard him speak, I'm like, okay, I can... You know, I was iffy about him playing Joel, but now that I'm now that I'm hearing him and seeing him, I'm like, oh, okay. I see the vision, okay. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. You have no idea what loss is. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. That is, I, I'm, I'm actually excited for this. I, I am legitimately excited for this now. Like, and I was very, very reserved initially, uh, but now that I'm seeing like this snippet of footage, uh, they got me. I'm definitely on board for this. We will be doing a, a reaction uh, cut down on this channel for this, because, oh man. Pedro Pascal's obviously been killing it with one show after the next, playing characters that are remarkable and memorable. And so here we go again, Pedro Pascal crafting yet another character that is highly memorable. Now obviously, we're borrowing a lot from the game, and that is a lot to live up to. That's, that's a tall, tall order to try to embody this character that we've fallen in love with, and we were all very, very sad to see go with a golf club? Are you kidding me? Anyway, Nick Offerman playing Bill is not someone I had thought of. I, I didn't even think that far ahead in terms of the casting, but seeing him in the show, I'm like, that's perfect. That's perfect. Bella Ramsey I'm familiar with from Lord of the Rings. Whoa, Game of Thrones. I don't know that I would have personally picked her and seeing what little we did of her in this snippet, I don't know that I am on board, but maybe once I get into the show, I'll totally buy it and I'll be, you know, with her for the journey. In Game of Thrones, she did come across as this young woman who was, 
you know, years ahead of her time, uh, an old soul, which Ellie definitely is. And so I can see why they tapped her for this particular role. But when I see her playing Ellie, she just comes across as much, much younger. She seems so much younger to me in my mind than Ellie was in the game. But maybe it's been so long since I've played the game that you know, this actually makes sense and tracks with Ellie's character. I, it's hard to get, I'm, I don't want a dead name here, but okay, so the former, the, the artist formerly known as Ellen Page, I, you know, it's hard to get that image out of my mind, Elliot Page, just so I know I'm like making sure I don't offend anybody. I apologize for dead naming, it was the only way I could reference that person. So, but yeah, like that, that face is kind of in my mind because they look so alike. To see Bella Ramsey in that role, I'm like, whoa, that those two, Bella Ramsey's face looks nothing like Ellie's face from the game. Whereas the way they dressed uh, Pedro Pascal, like, oh, I can see like the resemblance between like the cinematic version of Joel and the video game. It, it, you know, it doesn't feel as mirrored between Bella Ramsey and the animated version of Ellie from the game. I think it was a very, very smart tactic on HBO Max's part to advertise it that way because they know what most of us are interested in and why we're clicking on this video because we're so eager for some kind of footage from it. Now, this is the first I'm seeing of it. Uh, I mean, maybe you guys have seen something already, snippets, pictures here and there. This is the very, very first time I am seeing anything from The Last of Us, uh, you know, adaptation. Video game adaptations have not had the best track record. Every single time we get one, it's usually awful. And the only one that I can think of off the top of my head in recent times that was done very, very well was Arcane. I mean, I never played the video game, but I fell in love hard with that with that series. If you're old school like me, then you probably really enjoyed Mortal Kombat when it dropped, when it first came out, and, and for a few years after it came out. But you know, you watch it again today and it's very, very, very cheesy. It's still fun, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as Arcane. And then of course there's The Witcher. I don't know how many of you guys count that because it's more based on the books as I understand it. I barely played the game and I know that the show is loved. I personally was all right with it. Given the response that the show has had, I would consider that a win in terms of adapting a game to a show or movie. All this to say, you know, what they're showing us so far, I'm genuinely excited and cannot wait to see it fully realized finally. There's a lot of other video games I would love to see come to life. It's interesting what is like coming to the forefront and getting talked about the most in terms of being adapted into a movie. And, you know, after Uncharted, every single one of these makes you so much less excited about seeing it adapted into a movie or a show. And Uncharted was one of those things where I didn't feel like I needed a, a, an adaptation of that. I didn't feel like I needed a movie of that because the game was so cinematic as it was. And Last of Us is kind of the same thing where I wasn't sure that I necessarily needed a movie or a show based on this game, based on this IP, because it's like playing a movie already. But seeing what we saw already here, I'm like, okay, I can see the merits of this, I, you know, and I, I am quite excited to see what Pedro Pascal and Nick Offerman brings to this. And I really, really do hope that I come to like Bella Ramsey as Ellie in the show over the course of the episodes. Like I said, it's just initially, it was just like, oh, I'm not really necessarily feeling that, but this is just an initial impression. The other stuff that HBO Max was showing in this ad, I actually, I, I was excited about, but I just was primarily honed in on Last of Us. That's just all I cared about. So I'm not dismissing anything else that they showed us in there. It's just that I'm like, okay, 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 okay,